We're celebrating our girlfriends with today's show. I love this theme. I do too. It's celebrating all of our friends because it doesn't have to be a girlfriend. You could have a friend that's a guy. Yes. So we'll have to have a show that's guy friends <laughs> and what we Just craft friends. for them. Just friends. Any, anybody that's a friend. But special. it is so wonderful to be able to share our love and passion and appreciation for crafting with our girlfriends. It happens most of our girlfriends also create, mm -hmm. but whether they do or not, it's always great to receive a handmade gift. Right. I was just going to say that. There's nothing like a handmade gift. Well, you can say it. I just did. Say it again. <laughs> There's nothing like a handmade gift. <laughs> what are you creating today? I have a necklace with a pendant on it that's made out of eggshell and alcohol inks, but I'm not using the Elaine's Tacky Glue like I did before. I'm using a new glue. Check it out. For today's project, I'm using the Elaine's Tacky Double Stick Sheets. They come four and a quarter by five inches and they have a top liner and a bottom liner, and in between is a dry adhesive. So it works perfect for this project. I'm using a little square piece of wood that you can find in your craft shop. It's about one and a quarter by one and a quarter, maybe about an eighth of an inch thick. And I have painted, pre-painted my pieces with a black acrylic paint. Now I, find you, I found that you need to use some kind of paint to, for the background because you will see some of the, um, the base when you go to put your eggshell on. And I don't think you want to see wood. So I like the black or I also even did some of them with a cream color. Next thing you do is you cut out a piece of the Aline's Tacky Devil Stick sheets to fit. And then you pull off the bottom liner and your sticky adhesive is right there. Now. For your eggshells, you need to make sure that your eggshells are clean. So you want to soak them maybe in a cup of water with a teaspoon of bleach overnight to remove the membrane. Because if you leave the membrane on there, what happens is the membrane sticks to the, the, um, the tacky sheets, but the eggshell doesn't. So then just break your tacky or your eggshell, put it into the sticky and push it down. And it's just applying them like a mosaic and don't worry about them going over the edge because we'll fix that in a little bit and you know you want not to probably have too much gap in between but it's okay if you do no problem like I can see that this um, pointed one will fit really nice in there And also, when, you know, when that membrane is cleaned out, too, they, they break really easy, so you can put them on really fast. This is such a fast, quick and easy, and a really neat project. Get it up as close as you want it. Don't want that one. Then at the end, you want to start filling in little pieces. So like right there, I want to put a little piece to cover that. Over here, I want to make sure that I have a piece that goes and fits there perfect. And let's try and break one to go in this little piece, this little area over here. Sometimes tweezers would probably help too. Okay. Now go to the edge and break off all your pieces that are over the edge. And if you kind of put your finger on the edge as you're breaking it, then you don't take the pieces off. And if one comes off, well, I think I'm going to leave that piece off. I like that corner showing. Now at this point, 
I take that liner sheet that I took off to begin with and I put it back on and I whoops and I just push on my eggshell and this gives it all kinds of cracks so when I go to put on my alcohol inks they really spread quite nicely into the eggshell. Got one more there. I think I'm ready to put on my alcohol ink. So all I do is just take and just drop them on. And you can see how the they just spread in all the different um, cracks. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. And just put on the next color. I love alcohol inks because they're kind of like if if you make a mistake, there is no mistake because you can just keep adding them on and adding them on. Let's put a little bit more green over here. Now if you get too much alcohol ink and it it bunches up on there. You just take a paper towel and dab it off. Now let this set oh until it's dry, till it doesn't come off. It's not a long time. Probably an hour would be good. And then you're gonna put on a finish. Now I found it's really cool. I found that the Aline's Clear Gel Tacky Glue works really, really good as a sealer and a finish. It puts a really nice finish onto it. So just start to squeeze it on. And I go around the outside edge first. Put that down. And then I just fill in the middle. Make sure that I got all my places and then if you have any little areas you know make sure that it goes to the edge you can even take a little bit on your finger and go on the outside edge to make sure you get that covered oh I see a little place in the center and then that's all there is to it now let's take a look at the finished piece Notice that um, I put a, a bale on it. I glued the bale on with the Aline's 7800 Industrial Glue. And you can see the finish of the, we're using the Aline's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. It makes a fabulous finish and it's glossy. And you can see how I put on the alcohol inks. And then I just attached it to a really fun uh, ribbon and cord necklace that I bought already made up uh, at the craft store. Fun project, easy to do, anybody can do it. Have fun with it. Heidi, I think that this is the perfect girlfriend gift. I do too. It's it's quick, it's it's different. And you know, there's not there's not one that turns out the same. They're always different. I have a question for you because you use the Aline's Clear Gel Tacky Glue, which mm -hmm. is a new use for that. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that and how did you even think up that idea? Well, I was actually looking for something that would be clear on it. You know, people don't realize how much testing goes on before I actually create. And I know you have the same challenge too. Before you actually get a project, you have to see if it's going to work first. And so I had this new glue and so I did all kinds of things to see if it would work. So I was playing with it and then I put it on one night and then I came in the next day and I'm like, whoa, that really worked great. I was really excited yeah. to see that and now I want to play now with the Aline's Clear gel. Because it doesn't feel like a glue at all. It, it's, it feels like it's a gloss sealer and it just, it worked out perfectly. So this actually was kind of an accident. I had all kinds of things out and I was trying all kinds of things and this really worked the best. A happy accident, actually a happy <laughs> test. You yeah. know, we like to have the testing that works. Right. So pretty cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited to hear about that and I'm going to, to try that out.